Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 24th of 2018. And the time, it's uh, about 3.15 p.m. I'm very happy with this microphone, which I've had for quite a while. And the last one or two videos that I've made, I've used this microphone. I had this microphone for quite a while. Well, okay, I purchased it March 13th of 2016 from Amazon and used it a little bit and I, I've had different uh, sound cards, different things. I just never, and I have a bunch of other microphones that I've tried, uh, but I purchased Let's see. Purchase this sound card for $30. That's inexpensive. Now you can get two channel, four channel, whatever. I got the single channel. I have no idea. I can't play a musical instrument or do you know anything. I don't need any other uh, inputs. But this has been excellent. I have, I don't know how many sound cards I have couple of them expensive for sound cards. This one works excellent. It's simple. I've got one or two, especially one, that has all kinds of dials on it. I have no idea what, how they work, what it does, if anything. And uh, this does the job. So this combination, I like the sound of this microphone because uh, I noticed in the other uh, video, you know, you, you could hear me swallowing. I don't know if you can hear the rain outside or not. Uh, you, you can hear the ice cubes in my glass. Hear me gulping. I guess this could be a bad thing. But I like the uh, I like the little bit of background noises where you can hear what's going on. That's like with the camera. I don't want the camera right up in my you know in my face. In fact, I wouldn't. And years ago, before YouTube and before Amazon and before all of them. I was sending out streaming video and I would have, sometimes the camera was mounted up at the ceiling. You could see my entire room. I broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When I went to bed, I'd be in bed. And I guess if you were watching the video, you'd see me, whatever I do in bed, rolling around in bed, trying to get comfortable or whatever. Uh, I like that type of, I like videos on YouTube where you see I call them walking from my head. I call them my, which I won't do much of anymore. I'm not in the greatest of health. <clears throat> walking and talking videos where somebody's out with the camera, provided it's not you know, too jerky. And as they're walking, you see the buildings behind them. Or they have a camera on a building aimed down at a, could be, uh, I used to watch, I watched several, you know, days or a week or something occasionally of, uh, in Italy someplace, there was a camera aimed down at the plaza and you could see people in the morning and it was 24 hours a day going over, I guess, to get them breakfast or to buy bread. And there was a church or a cathedral there or something. I like those kind of videos. And the same way with the sound, I like that you can, uh, that you can see stuff. So this is working really well. And this is now working finally, uh, pretty well. I was always this is my new cell phone, and I mentioned in a previous video, I made a, pre a video about there's a message that pops up on it, Bluetooth not logged in or Bluetooth logged out or something. I looked up on the haven't figured out what the what the thing is to that, but um,
this uh, Blue Vivo 11, one of the things that it you can use is uh, charging on a, you know, disc or whatever. They have different, in fact, this company has, Yatech has different things. They have even a stand like this that you can set your device. They have several different devices. So uh, I mentioned I need to go back and find that video and go in and make a uh, last pass is using battery. I need to go back and edit this because I noticed that when I put this on the charger, magnetic charger or whatever, this thing got hot. I mean, it got really, really hot. And it doesn't get that hot when I plug the cable in and just plug it off of the charger. Uh, but on this, it got super so much that I was worried about the safety of the... Uh, so I need to go back. If anyway, if you were... I'll try to get back to that video and put a thing in there saying, uh, be careful. But I, I maybe I had it... Uh, I had the charge this charger going into my fancy thing there output power adapter uh, how to output so maybe I don't know but still as of right now be careful with that and watch that I should have uh, I've got a device here again that uh, reads temperatures but I don't want to do that <laughs> I didn't think of it at the time I just took it off of the uh, charger and uh, I don't want to put it back on the charger, just let it heat up just so I could, you know, get you the exact temperature of the thing. Um, so happy with my cell phone, but happy now that I can use this microphone, but I have a new microphone that's on the way. It'll be here. Today's Wednesday. Should be here Friday. A much less expensive uh well, wait a minute. It's about 60 bucks, I think. So it's not... This was more expensive, I believe, when I got it. Um, that's something what, up here. They don't show you what you paid for it, of course, at the time. But I've got one that's coming that uh, somebody recommended on YouTube. And so, like, I'm happy with this, but when this comes Friday, I will hook up this other microphone and see how it works. But uh, I'm also glad to be away from, although I feel lost, I'm glad to be away from the headset. Uh, didn't really bother me. But it was getting, for some reason, the cord seemed like it was always, but I had different headsets. I had headsets that I have a bunch. Uh, I'm, I must have 10 headphone sets. And you know, you had, you know USB uh, 3.5 ones with jacks, uh, all types of stuff. I finally hooked up again my, and I probably will undo it. The uh, key for security. It works with LastPass and works in other ways. Um, I'm not sure about it. I bought it quite a while back and used it for just a short period of time. I've hooked it back up. Well, let's go take a look at the... I'm sure they sell them on Amazon here. Let's go to Amazon. And put this in. I love LastPass, by the way. I think you might even buy this from... They have more. I, I got this one quite a while back. Here it is. Now, I'm not sure. This one doesn't have a number, you know. So, I think they've made improvements and upgrades. Um... 
But so I don't know. I don't know that much. I haven't had that much experience with it. Don't worry, this video won't be too long. We're uh, making lasagna. It'll be ready in about an hour. So this, uh, when the food's ready, I know this video will end. Uh, I think the video's working pretty good. This is the my other Logitech camera. The one that was like $200. I shouldn't have bought it. Pe people on YouTube said, you know, great camera but too expensive, and I should have listened to them. This is the Logitech C930E, and the video is good on it, but I have added an extra lighting mix to everything in the world. There's a uh, light. Let's see if I can... Umbrella light up there. And then, let's see. There's umbrella light up there so hey this is almost a walking and talking video I finally have a tripe I've I must have oh, well I don't know whether I should count the little tabletop I don't know how many tripods I have I finally got a more expensive decent tripod it's really nice and it has, and I think I purchased that though separately, I believe. Ball floating head. Uh, well, and I, I bought it, ended up with another one here, like, like this. Let me go to full screen here. And I have, uh, and this one up here, this one up here has the handle on it. Uh, this one doesn't, but uh, you can move it around. But what's really nice <coughs> is that these are standardized, so you can mount your camera on this, and you can have several of these. And for these type of And it's actually well made, you know, aluminum or whatever. Like a, it's kind of like a work of art, these things are. But it's a, a ball joint that really, because of the other tripods that I would use, uh, when I'd go to do something like this, the, the stand would want to move, you know. So how did I get on that subject? I guess I'm just kind of filling you in on everything that's going on around here. Um, so I'll be testing a new microphone on Friday. So you can expect. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment uh, on the 1st of the month. Today is the 24th of the month. Um, Let's, uh, so let's see, I told you about this key. Well, I didn't really tell you about it, but I do recommend LastPass to you. And actually, you can use it for free, but I pay for the premium, and I think it's, uh, is that camera slowly sinking down? Let me go up and twist this handle here. Um, but I think the premium thing, of course they have for businesses and all that, but I think I pay $12 a year or something like that for it. I, that's, that's neat. And I've been using it for years and years. And uh, up here, this little last pass here. 
does a whole bunch. It goes through, it just does a tremendous amount. You, I can, uh, I can go to it and tell it to go through. I, I have, it has all my usernames and passwords for automatically logging and it does it automatically. I can tell it to go through and change all the passwords and it will do that. It'll also go through and check and see, it'll give me a report of how many of the same passwords I'm using, uh, when I last changed the pat, all that type of, it just, uh, but I just basically use it for, uh, cause I hate to, and I do try to use secure and it generates a secure password for you too. When you go to a place that wants you to sign up, you know, you enter your username or whatever, and then you have to pick a password. Uh, it will generate one for you. I always worry that it's going to generate one and then it's not going to save it, but it always does. It asks you, you know, do you want to save it before you, I'm always afraid that it's going to generate one of these passwords and you have a master password, which, uh, lets you get into, and you need to make that one a really, really secure one. And they don't have it or whatever. If you, uh, if you lose that password, I don't know what you would do. Uh, last pass works on, I have it on here, but I really haven't turned it, you know. By the way, uh, back to this, wherever it is, there it is. I told you when I first got this, and I got this on uh, October 14th, I actually purchased it October 14th, and I told you, uh, how good the face recognition is, and it is not. Now, okay, I'm not sure why, I have to check on that. See, it wanted, uh, there was a little thing down here at the bottom. Um, so it's not an error. Um, it wanted to, did I want the face recognition? So I was thinking that was an error, but it's not. Uh, the other thing is the fingerprint thing is not working, but I think maybe I just need, well, it's working, but not working as good. So maybe I did when I was doing it, didn't, uh, move my finger around as much as, you know, as I should have or whatever. But so... Oh, this, I think most of the, a lot of the time I show you the, what's going on the day that this video is being made. I made a, because I'm not always, I haven't always done that, but because I've got almost a thousand videos here. I've got videos starting back in 2005 when uh, YouTube began. And this kind of gives you an idea if you're watching two years or five years or 10 years from now, um, you'll have a little bit of idea of what was going on. You may watch this five years from now and go, wow. But this is, this is really bad. A whole bunch of bombs and things are being sent there. The atmosphere, the politics, uh, right now here in the United States, it's toxic. It's worse than I didn't. I never thought it was actually that I would actually see it this bad. Uh, our president and all of our political leaders need to speak the truth, and they need to work for unity. Sure, you know. Republicans and Democrats have their positions and things that they are for or are against, but we need to, you know, work together as a nation. We, in the past, United States has, you know, looked at places like uh, Beirut, Lebanon, when it was just so, you know, so bad and 
so dangerous and uh, whatever. And I think we're kind of like, oh, we are so much, you know, maybe we didn't think it, maybe we didn't say it, maybe we thought it, we didn't say it, but, uh, you know, those, and in Latin America, you have these revolt, you know, revolts and, uh, uh, things and you think, uh, we're so much better than, you know, those banana republic people, they don't know, you know, but our founding fathers did such a great job of drawing up, I mean, they didn't do a great job with, uh, slavery, but they did a great, great job of, um, drawing up our constitution for one thing, you know, they, of course we copied from uh, our mother country, the England or whatever, a lot, but you know, we have a parliament with two houses. We have the house of representatives and those people are elected by the people in, you know, in their area based on population, how many that, you know, the states get. And our founding fathers realized that, you know, there was tensions and there was things that might pop up that would inflame people and uh, that that could be sort of dangerous. So they had a Senate or House of Lords. They had a, uh, we copied that, you know, sort of. They had the Senate that was elected for a much longer period of time. And there was two per state. Of course, in the beginning, we only had 13 states. But at that time, they had it where the state legislatures picked the two senators. Uh, and eventually, it, we found out, you know, that's, that doesn't work too well. There's too much one big company back in a state or whatever they can control, you know, so we made it where the people of the state elected, you know, their, their two senate, senators. And since the senators serve for a longer period of time and don't have to be reelected, and since there's only two per state, now we have 50 states, so we have 100 senators. They were more stable, they are, they were and still are a more stabilizing force if if people get upset about uh, immigration or some problem you know the Senate is looks at it in a better you know a better way so uh, we have had a good system of government but Things have, things have gone to hell in a handbasket very quickly. We need people that are honest. We need people that are at well money has corrupted our system tremendously. Uh, members, of, especially, you know, well, it takes money to get elected or to get re-elected and uh, all these people want to be re-elected and a lot of people want to be elected and a lot of people will say and do anything in order to be you know to be elected and so we need to get money out of politics we need to finance you know have the government finance the elections and not allow people to use money, especially not use money from corporations or from organiz large organizations or whatever. If it's going to be financed, it should be financed by individual people for whatever you can afford, you know, and I wouldn't be able to afford very much, but this has become so bad that a change needs to 
needs to take place and we need to get better people in there who who care more you know who care about their country you know who care about their family and their community and who just are not looking to uh, I don't know what, what we're going to you know what we're going to do if we were if we could come together all of the people together the way we should and if we would just sort of agree collectively you know maybe the thing we should do is nobody is ever going to be reelected you know until until the thing until things are fixed okay you want to go you want to be a member of the house of representatives fine uh, you'll be there for two years and then that's it you'll never be and you want to be a senator okay you'll be there for four years or whatever and that's it you'll never go back and then we should have some standards my god for you know for people running for the presidency of the united states one being you have to not be a liar and you have to not you, you have to let people know about your tax returns i mean there should be certain things and you know we have a limit on two terms the most you can serve is eight years i think we should change the constitution and make it you have one six-year term because i just hate it other people do too a president is elected for four years he tries to do some stuff and then after a year and a half or two then okay no can't all I'm, he, he wants to be reelected. so he's not going to do anything he's going to you know if you had one six-year term okay i got six years to you know to what i said a while back when they impeached and impeach means doesn't mean removed from office it means to be brought to trial when they impeached president uh, clinton or whatever that was so that was an attempt by the republicans to of a coup d'etat to not you know they, they weren't going with armed weapons and uh the way they do in some country and remove the president that way they were doing it you know it was a lynching really it was uh i said after that that uh every one of the especially the members of the house everybody in the house who voted to remove him or, you know they voted it to impeach him to bring him to trial before the senate that should have been the career that should have been the end of of those people they shouldn't have been able to be elected dog catcher no offense to dog catchers they shouldn't have been they should, that should have been the end of their career if that had happened you wouldn't have in the future you would have there wouldn't be anybody talking about impeaching a, the, a president they'd say unless it was necessary and uh, in this case i think we pro probably is necessary not probably but you wouldn't have you would have them know if somebody would say you know should we let's impeach this guy because we don't like you know we don't like president bush or we don't like president clinton or something you'd have no don't even mention impeachment unless you really have the cause there should be repercussions if you do something that is bad there should be a repercussion now here it's in politics and in other things well, let's just take politics and politics if you know you have a bag of money or whatever and somebody hey he this this congressman has is walking around with uh, unmarked bills or something in a bag or whatever he, you know, he could say, oh, well, I was, uh, I was just taking this as donations to the church or, or whatever. Well, you don't have any video of me, be, you know, being handed this money by a lobbyist or 
you don't have this or it, it should be now if you're just perceived to be if it shouldn't be that we have to have video of you if it's like you have disgraced it you know whatever but it's but this is you know bombs are now being sent to the white house to cnn to the clintons to the obamas uh, to uh, Maxine Walters, who I believe is a, well, she's black, so she's a Democrat. <laughs> uh, the uh, Republicans hate her. She's a representative, and I don't think she's a very good representative, you know, but uh, she's represented by her, you know, she, her little tiny group of people, you know, elected her or whatever, but, uh, Oh, I didn't see this. 11 minutes. Multiple people shot at a Kroger's in Kentucky. Oh. I was shot at once, by the way. Multiple people shot at Kroger's in Kentucky. Multiple people have been shot at a Kroger's store in Jefferson Town, Kentucky, according to local media reports. One person is in custody after the incident. According to the Jefferson Town Police Dispatcher, she declined Wednesday to provide other information, adding that officers remain on the scene. Jefferson is about 13 miles southeast of Louisville. So this is Kentucky. So let's, uh, let's go here. Go over to radio stuff. Where's my radio? Here it is. Go to radioreference.com. Go to live audio, top 50 feet. Let's try the top 50 feeds. Okay, Chicago's number one. Louisville, okay. Oh, which... Uh, Well, 340 people. Let's see if this is the one. How will we know? What did I just say? News. CNN. Jefferson Town, Kentucky. It's 13 miles from Louisville. Let's go back to Louisville. Here we go. Okay. Okay, audio.
track today. Three fourteen ninety sixteen fifty two. Three twelve Adam, can you switch back to service? Three twelve Adam Radio, I wasn't on service. Do you mean two baker? Uh yeah, two baker, I guess. Anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to uh, uh, you can listen to things like this at this site, but they do have a membership. It's not uh, I've been paying for years, not just for this, but for other uh, other things that they have. Um, It's a little bit expensive. Now, a lot of police departments um, have, uh, you know, can't be picked up. Their signals are encoded and what have you now. Uh, Chicago is usually number one on the list of being active, you know. But you can kind of go there and you can see when somebody else is up there at the top that uh, something's going on. Anyway, I think I've updated you enough. I don't know how close the, uh, how long have I been talking? I guess I should, I can, I have the option of keeping this on the screen, whoops. I guess I should leave this on the screen because I can see that uh, this has been going on for 37 minutes. So far, the file size is 1.8 gigabytes. Thank goodness uh, we did have charter and they changed over uh, to Sprint, no, not Sprint, Spectrum. And uh, then they increased our uh, speed, internet speed, and then I paid extra for 400 down and 20 up. And that is so great. Finally, I have internet. When I started, I had 300 bond. Then I went to 1200 bond and eventually uh, 56K bond or whatever. And that was all with the telephone line. And everything that I went through, you would not believe. But not just me. A lot of other people went through it too. My, I mentioned this before in another video. On YouTube, if you want to uh, there's a documentary that I'm in, but I'm only in for a few seconds, three or four times. But it's BBS, the documentary, and it's free. You can watch it on the the guy who made the, it's a 3DB set. Uh, but the first was one, I, I, I'm not sure I even watched the other. Don't let the author, don't let the producer and director know. I even flew out to California for the premiere of it, but I'm not sure I've actually watched it except the first, which is about what I did and others did, computer bulletin board systems and the beginning of all of this, all of this that we have now, uh, we were on the cutting edge of it. And um, Now I forget what I was, why I was on that subject for some reason. So I really should, okay, I have, I have a good camera. Although I am, I think going to again play with hooking up my G7. Panasonic G7, actually hooking it up to the computer and using maybe this, maybe both cameras 
or maybe just using this camera. This camera is really good for, but you know, I, I think I, well, I've spent too much money. This has a very, very small zoom on it. I don't know if it says on it or not. I don't mess with it that much. Is it on the lens? Anyway, um, may hook this up. Well, I'm going to wait till, till I get that new microphone. And then maybe next week I'll hook that. I did, I did that a while back. Hooked that, that up. Wasn't that impressive because um, well when I, I didn't install the app on it. If I install the app on the uh, camera then with my cell phone I could zoom in and out, change settings, do all type of things and I could just sit here. What was the name of that gigantic fat thing in, uh, was it Star Wars or whatever? The blobby thing? I could just sit there and do that. Gobble wobble or whatever. Anyway, we're going to have some pizza here. Not pizza. Lasagna pretty quick, so. Thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you very much.